little background on myself, I started playing trombone when I was in grade nine at high school. And um, I've had this instrument for 50 years, the, the very same one. And uh, I was able to play the, for the high school band, and I played for the Mohawk Swing Phonic Band, and then I moved to Thunder Bay to go to school, and they were desperate at the, at the symphony for a trombone player. So guess what? <laughs> I got the fourth position on the trombone for, for the symphony orchestra. And, um, and then we moved here, and we, we, I had a little band in Manitouage, uh, called Manitois Jazz Ensemble, and then we, um, you know, we, we got together with the Nora, and then now we've got the Beatitudes going and things like that. Eh? So that's kind of a bit of my background. The Nora, do you want to tell them a little bit about yours? Well, I sort of hopped around in the country, but started playing the accordion, no, the piano, I'd say, when I was six years old. And uh, then moved to Collingwood, some are very familiar with. And uh, my mom wanted to carry me on in piano. She would start hearing me thump, thump, thump on the old church piano. That, and, but I did play the first time in church in Lisco. Uh, it was a snowstorm. Maybe my dad figured not too many would be there in the storm, so it was all right. But uh, anyway, uh, I can't even imagine what I sounded like, but I got a, came across a letter that my dad received when he left Listwell, and it said, we'd like Lenora to keep that up. We do see a bit of potential in her. <laughs> <laughs> and I chuckle every time I read that. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> and then uh, went to Collingwood, and then they told my mother that there was a line lady at the top piano, Miss Stevenson. It was on Main Street. She would have been long since gone, I think, when you came around. And uh, anyway, uh, I would go up there, and she could go along the Braille, go out the conservatory, and she knew if I hit it with the wrong finger or speeded it up too much because I sort of like that toe tapping stuff. And she wanted classical, nothing else. But I do appreciate going up to grade eight with her. And then, I'm sorry, that was enough classical for me. <laughs> but uh, I've been playing for quite a few years, and I enjoy it. And then picked up the accordion from, and got it in Collingwood, too. So that was a happy okay, question. Nice yeah. <clears throat> so the, fir the first piece we're going to play is, um, is called uh, Power in the Blood, and it's kind of our signature piece. This is the piece that Lenore and I, when we warm up, this is the piece that we play. Starts it out. <clears throat> Churches no longer have in their hymnal. Okay, so we're going to play it for you, and then you can guess the name of the piece. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 They won't yeah. walk out before. They won't. Okay? No. Oh, okay. Okay. So that also starts on that. <coughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Which was a guest. <laughs> no, we had the we had the pleasure today to play at the hospital, and um, the next piece we played uh, actually brought tears to people's eyes. It was uh, it's very beautiful. Um, it was written by um, a fellow that used to own a slave boat out of Britain, and uh, he um, converted to Christianity, I believe. That's yes, what happened. Yes. And he uh, saw the error in his ways, and he was so moved that he wrote this particular song, and I'm sure you'll recognize it when we play it. <clears throat> Just as an aside, the, the trombone, uh, the slide itself is two thousandths of an inch clearance. It's very, very tight. So uh, what I do is I put a little bit of uh, special grease on the end, and then water and grease, it repels, right? So. I have to water the horse every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start on B. <clears throat> prosthetic valves and uh, one is a bovine valve and the other one is a, a swine or a pig valve and uh, when I came home my wife didn't know if I was going to oink <laughs> or I was going to move <laughs> so I guess I'm doing both <laughs> well, that makes explanation now <laughs> uh, the next piece we're going to play is um, we shall gather at the river it starts in D as well. Uh, this piece um, was my mother's favorite piece to sing at church. And uh, as the story goes, my mother sang very loudly, but off key. <laughs> she, couldn't, she couldn't hold a tune. But she, she was a wonderful lady, and this was her, her favorite piece. It starts in D as well.
one that's called I've Got a Mansion Over the Hilltop. And it's quite a lively piece, so I have to ask Lenora not to play it too quickly. <laughs> because you can appreciate a trombone has seven positions, and if we go right out to the end, that's seventh position. So if she played fast, I can't physically pump <laughs> hard enough, right? Or fast enough. So it starts on B flat. I'm going to mention it.
good music. You never oh, no. played music when you were camping. Oh, yeah, I did, you know. I was a secret nice. trombone player. <laughs> the, the next piece I'd like to dedicate to uh, your husband, Alvin. I don't know if Alvin knows what piece I'm... Oh, probably not. Probably not, eh? <laughs> did you want to come and help us with this one, Alvin? Oh, come on. Alvin, 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 Okay, the reason okay, he's asking me up there is because it's just zoom, zoom, zoom. Slowly zoom out. When they first started to get together, they started to try and stop each other. Uh, see if one could play one that the other one didn't know. A lot of work. But they, they did pretty good. They, they were able to, you know, figure each other out pretty, pretty good. This one is called. I'm too young. young to march in the infantry. I'm too young I or the enemy. I'm too young to shoot the artillery. But I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Look, all he wants me to do is do the action so I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> so can, can people join me? If they yes. And if you want to join me, Absolutely. go for yeah. it. Yeah. It's a good stretch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> certain ways we all go through trials and tribulations but 
Um, there's a song called Count Your Blessings, and uh, when I get a little bit down, I kind of think of that song and then kind of try to count the blessings that I do have. Right? That's right. So, do you know how to play this one, Lenore? I don't know. I might have heard it in Collingwood once or twice. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure, but try. Okay, let's start to that. Okay. So anyhow, the girls started talking, but I, I could hear that, eh, in the other room there? So Dave and I were talking, talking, talking. And then uh, and finally our company left, and uh, I took Karen aside and said, you know, Karen, I, you know, I kind of overheard you and Catherine talking. And, uh, you know, like, I know, sometimes we have an argument, but do you really go to, when you're mad at me, you go to the toilet and you, and you use a brush and you... And you clean the toilet with the brush? She says, yeah, your toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay, the next piece is, um, is uh, from the, somebody can help me here maybe, it's called uh, Roll Out the Barrel. What, when did that come in? Was that a First World War? I think so. I think it was. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. it was. I think so. First World War, Yeah. Now, uh, Lenora wouldn't let me play Roll Out the Barrel, yeah. so I had to play uh, this one. Okay? 10 15 more. Okay? So, Roll Out the Barrel. It starts on. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> you. 
is, um, is one that I'm pretty sure everyone knows that has ever been to a soccer match or to a football game, maybe even a baseball game, I'm not too sure, maybe? Any parade? Any, yeah, or if you've been to high school and you watched a, a high school sports events and stuff yeah. like that, eh? Right? Okay. What do you think? I think we should go. You have anything else you'd like to say, Edward? Hmm. <clears throat> what am I going to do without the trombone now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, but it was reassurance because somebody said if one door closes, another would open. Yeah, that's what uh, Gary was uh, saying earlier. Yeah. Okay, I guess that goes for both. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, so when the saints go marching in, uh -huh. F A bass. Okay, F A. standing outside, but there was a whole group of people standing outside, and I turned to the guy next to me and said, uh, what are we waiting for? And he says, oh, the guy, somebody's got to go get the key. Oh, okay, you got to get the key. Oh, yeah, so we're waiting there. And uh, then I, was, I had my trombone case, and it looked pretty big, and I said, oh. I turned to the next guy, and said, oh, what instrument do you play? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looked at me funny. He said, uh, oh, I play the guitar. I said, oh, that's good, because I play the trombone. <laughs> then the guy kind of looked at me, and what do you mean you play the trombone? Yeah, I said, well, come down for the practice. He said, he said, buddy, this isn't a musical band. He said, this is an Indian band. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so I went, I went, oh, okay. And then, of course, you know, I had my big trombone case and I turned around, of course, everybody gathered around. And I started walking back up 7th Street. Hey, buddy, come back. You can join us if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. Uh, uh, thanks, Terry. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll play our, our, our theme song then for you again. Yeah. Okay? Starts on that. <clears throat> 